everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Darian and today I am going to be reacting to my very first video. So today, the day I'm filming this, is my first booktube birthday. I started my channel a year ago today. I also posted my booktube birthday tag today for me. For you guys it will have been a few days ago so I will leave that linked up above if you guys want to check that out. But to celebrate being on booktube for one year I thought it would be fun to react to my very first video. I've seen a lot of booktubers do this on their first booktube birthday so I wanted to join in on the fun. I am very scared <laughs> because I know how nervous I was when I was filming that first video so I have a feeling she's gonna be very awkward. I mean I'm still awkward but like she's gonna be more awkward. <laughs> so I am nervous but I'm excited to see a little baby Darian. I do remember it was my April wrap-up and I filmed in front of my very white door. I don't know why I thought that was the best filming location but I remember thinking like this looks perfect. <laughs> So anyways, uh, let's just get into reacting to the video. By the way, my dog is sitting on my bed right now eating his toy. So if you hear like munching and just general weird noises, that's him. So I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get into the reaction. Okay, so the video is called Welcome to My Channel and April Wrap Up. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Also, my hair looks so short. Like. I, the last time, let's, I'm getting off track already, but the last time I cut my hair was last January, so the January, like two months before the world kind of shut down, and this was obviously May of last year, so this was four months, February, March, April, May, four months after I had just cut my hair, and now it's been a year and four months, so this is how long... Can you see? That's how long my hair is now and you'll see. I'll put the video on the screen. You'll see how short my hair was. But yeah. Oh my god, I'm nervous. It's also weird that like I don't have my intro. You know, my famous ding 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 You know that one? <laughs> so it's like, I mean, okay. I'm just stalling. Let's, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my ch Hi, my name is Darian. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Okay. Channel. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna try this. So I've been thinking of starting a channel for a while, and I just never really did it. If I look over here, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm very distracted. I've never filmed myself, so I'm gonna have to get used to this. And all of a sudden, yesterday, I got the motivation to start this channel. Look how nervous I am. Oh my god. I really did not know how to speak <laughs> in front of a camera. I'm, I'm talking just very, like, I look very stiff and I'm just talking like this. I also didn't know how to edit out pauses. And now I'm a bit better at that, so. Oh my god. So we'll see if this becomes more than one video or if I just give up after this. Okay. <laughs> well, we're still here, so that's good. I have always loved reading. Reading has always been a huge part of my life. Throughout elementary school and high school, I was always reading. I would read before school, during school, Here's my life after story. school, before bed, like literally all the time. And then for some reason, when I was in like, well, when I was around, when I graduated high school, basically, when I was around 17, I just kind of got into this huge reading slump for like four years. During that four year period, I think I read maybe like six books total. And for some reason, I just, I didn't, it's not that I fell out of love with reading, I just couldn't bring myself to read. <laughs> so, those were the dark days. And then I discovered BookTube, and I followed lots of BookTubers. I hate the way I'm talking. <laughs> I followed people on Twitter and Instagram who post about books, and now I'm fully back into reading. I'm going to try to keep up with this channel and post about books, do my best. Um, if I seem nervous, it's because I am, because I've never done anything like this before, so... You do seem nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bear with me. If I actually manage to make more than one video, I'm sure the first few videos are going to be interesting. <laughs> so, today, uh, my plan is to talk about what I read in April. I know a lot of people read like 15, 
20 books per month, that's not what I do. I read five books last month, and that's a good month for me. Like, five books, that's pretty good for me. So, if you're looking for someone Still who like reads, that. like, 10 to 20 books per month, you're not going to find that here, unless I read, like, a bunch of graphic novels or something. But, anyways, I read five books last month, and I participated in the... I, s I sound so out of breath, oh my god. Owls, which is a readathon hosted by G from from Book Roast. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to try <laughs> to link her channel below if I figure out how to do that. I'm assuming it's easy, but we'll see how that turns out. So <laughs> if not, just search up Book Roast and she's amazing. I love her. Anyways, um, yeah, so she hosts this readathon. It's uh, inspired by the Owls exams from Harry Potter and it's so cool and imaginative and I just love it. So. So the first book I read in April is Heartstopper Aww. Volume 1 Heartstopper. by Alice Oseman. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody on BookTube knows what this book is, but <laughs> if you don't, it is a graphic novel with adorable drawings. Wow. <laughs> drawn by Alice is uh, openly gay, and I Charlie still mix is them up. kind of your typical jock. Um, he's big and he plays football, so yeah. It's so cute. Um, it definitely lived up to the hype for me. One of the one of the comments I've seen from this book is that it's really juvenile, which it is because it takes place in high school, and it's very much like, you know, when you have a high school crush, you kind of, it's all you think about, you kind of want to throw up all the time, <laughs> you analyze every single thing that they said, like that's what this book is, and it's just so cute, and I gave it five stars, I definitely recommend it. And hopefully I can pick up volume two soon, and then volume three, which I don't have yet, but I will get on that. I have since read volume two and three, and I love them all, I gave them all five stars, and the fourth one comes out soon, I think, so... I can't wait for that. <laughs> so the next book I read was Muse of Nightmares by <gasps> Amy Taylor. Oh. This book is the sequel to Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. <laughs> this is a duology, um, so these are the only two books in the series. I And I read Muse of Nightmares for the Merpeople Linguistics, was, which was to read a book. Oh my god, uh, book I want to help her so bad. <laughs> She's like stumbling over her words. Why didn't I edit all this out? Poor baby. Herbology, and the prompt was to read a book that starts with M. So, obviously that works. So, Strange the Dreamer is about this boy named Laszlo, and he's obsessed with this Laszlo. lost city of Weep, and he's kind of an outcast, he doesn't really have any friends, and then he maybe gets the opportunity to travel to Weep himself, and I don't want to say much more than that because just the experience of discovering this world was just so amazing and magical. And this is my new favorite book of all time. I was obsessed. I love this book so much. Um, it's just so whimsical and Lainey Taylor's writing is just so like delicious basically. Like that's the best word I can think of to describe it. It's just so like it just pulls you in and I cannot recommend this book enough. It's a fantasy book, obviously, so if you like fantasy, you will love this book, I think. And Muse of Nightmares, I liked just as much as Strange the Dreamer, I think. I mean, maybe I would say I like Strange the Dreamer more just because it's the first one. It was my first experience in the world, but Muse of Nightmares was just so good. It was such a good follow-up. It takes place right after Strange the Dreamer finishes off, and it was amazing. Like, it was everything I could have asked for the conclusion to the series, even though I secretly wish uh, maybe she'll release another one, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I really recommend this duology, um, and I gave this five stars. I gave both of those five stars, obviously, but yeah, my new favorite series of all time. I love it. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, Strange the Dreamer is still my favorite book of all time, and still my favorite series of all time. And I would love to reread Muse of Nightmares soon, since I reread Strange the Dreamer in February, I think. It was February. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I still love them, so... The next book I read was Sadie by Courtney mm. Summers. I always get her and Courtney Stevens mixed up, but this is by Courtney Summers. <laughs> I still get them mixed up, honestly. Courtney Summers, Courtney Stevens. 
They're too similar in my brain. <laughs> it's so washed out. <sighs> you can barely see it with my door. I'm sorry about that. Here. Ta-da! Okay. Anyway, so this Why was would for Charles, which door? was to read a book with white on the cover, and obviously <laughs> this book is very white. So Sadie follows um, a girl named Sadie, and her sister was re So Sadie takes it upon herself to um, find who did this. Uh, I wish I could go back and be like, just cut out all the ums. Like, I barely leave any ums in my videos now, and <laughs> I clearly didn't think of that back then. Her sister. So my camera stopped recording for some reason, so if the angle is a little bit different, that's why. Um, but I think I was saying that this book follows Sadie, who is trying to find her sister's killer. And so it's following Sadie's um, journey, but it's also following this podcast, who is, um, they're trying to figure out where Sadie has gone because she's gone missing and so they're trying to find Sadie and Sadie's trying to find whoever killed her sister and yeah I thought it was really interesting I was really intrigued I gave it four stars and apparently you should read the audiobook so one day maybe I will <laughs> so the next book I read was A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kammerer I think that's how you say her name I read this book for History of Magic which was a two book with a witch or wizard in it I'm pretty sure this counts because there's the enchantress who puts a spell on the beast, so I think it counts. So this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, so we have the Beauty and the Beast, we have this girl Harper who has cerebral palsy, when he's in the beast form he cannot control what he does, he kind of just blacks out and the beast takes control and he kind of goes on just like a killing rampage, so he's killed lots of people. <laughs> it's actually his, in this book, it's actually his last season, so Harper is his last chance to break this curse, and I've heard a lot of mixed things about this book. I've heard that it's really good, I've heard some people say it's really boring, so I didn't really know what to expect when I went into it, but I was so pleasantly surprised with this book. I ended up giving it five stars because I just, like, I was so engrossed in the story and I was just rooting for Harper and Wren and there's also another character named Grey who I loved like I I've heard her. the next book is basically about Grey which I'm so excited to read about because he's one of my favorite side characters I've ever read I love him so much and yeah I really love this book I gave it five stars I still haven't read the second book <laughs> but I stand by what I said. I really like A Curse So Dark and Lonely and I still need to read the second book. And yeah, I love Grey. <laughs> she was right. And the last book I read in April. Do I remember what this book is that I'm about to talk about? I want to see if I can remember. Oh, I know what it is. It's Crescent City. <laughs> was a big boy. It was House of Earth and Blood or Crescent City, as I like to call it, because it's written way bigger than the actual title. But anyway, so House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. Um, this is she thick. Like, this book is 800 pages. I wasn't sure I would finish it in time, actually, but I finished it on the last day of April, so I was able to complete my owls. This book follows this girl named Bryce. And I don't want to say too much about what happens because I think it's better not knowing a lot, but basically she kind of suffers a really traumatic event and the book is her dealing with that and also trying to solve this mystery that happened a few years ago with the help of this angel named Hunt. This is only the second book I've ever read from Sarah J Mass. I read Throne of Glass only like a month and a half ago. I read the first book um, last month and I actually really enjoyed it. Like, was the writing the best? Maybe not. But the story was super fun, so I was really excited to learn how to zoom book, in. Especially because it got so many good reviews. So, when I read this book, I was kind of... It took me a really long time to get into it. Like, the first half of the book, I liked it, but I didn't... I didn't feel... I never felt compelled to pick it up. Like, every time... I was thinking of like April ending soon and finishing my owls. I was like, oh, I have to read Crescent City, as I will call it. <laughs> it was kind of a chore to get through like the first half, and then all of a sudden, like at the halfway point, the book just like it just became amazing. Like the the ending Spit of this it book out. is one of the best endings I've ever read. It was so engrossing and engrossing. I, 
like, I read the last 300 pages in two days, which is a lot for me. I never do that. So I was obsessed with the ending of this book and a lot of the things that were revealed at the, end, uh, at the ending of this book I thought made the first half of the book better and I'm interested to see if I ever reread this, which I don't know if I will because it's ginormous. The first half of the book I would say was three stars and the second half was five stars so that only seemed fair to see, give it five, uh, four stars. But yeah, I really 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 ended up liking this book. I thought her uh, Sarah J Mass's writing really improved since Throne of Glass and I'm really excited to read the um, second book in the series and I'd also like to continue reading the Throne of Glass series. Yeah, so <laughs> since then I have read the second book in the Throne of Glass series and I have gotten halfway through the third book and for some reason I put it down one day and I never picked it back up. And like, I don't want to DNF it, like I want to keep reading it. I just haven't picked it back up for whatever reason, so I still need to keep reading them. But I do stand by what I said about Crescent City also. That ending was amazing and I would be interested to reread it one day to see if I do like the first half better. I don't think that'll happen anytime soon, but yeah, I stand by what she said, so. So yeah, those are the books I read in April. Um, I'm sorry if I stuttered or seem nervous again <laughs> while I'm filming this. You like do. I said, I've never done anything like this before. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'll do this again. <laughs> Hopefully I will. Um, this was fun. So, um, if anyone is watching, um, give this a like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Aww. I'll try to link my Goodreads down below if I can figure that out and I'm also going to try to figure out how to make a thumbnail so if the thumbnail for this video is really ugly again I don't know what I'm doing thank you <laughs> she for did her best. this video if you are watching <laughs> it's so weird to think that someone would be watching this but anyways if you watch this video thank you so much um I will try to make another video soon I don't know what it will be but yeah, okay. Um, I feel like I forgot something, but... Just yeah. end it. Anyways, end thanks. It. Um, I'll see you with another video, hopefully. Bye! Oh my god! <laughs> Not me getting a little bit emotional. She was just a little baby, aww. So that was my very first video. It was basically what I expected. I knew that I would seem very nervous because I was very nervous. But I am very proud of her for taking that step to make that first video and I feel like I've grown a lot since then. I feel like I at least appear a lot more confident on camera now and I'm definitely better at editing. <laughs> I know to edit out all my long pauses and my ums and everything like that so. so that was a nice little walk down memory lane. That made me just feel really happy because I kept saying like maybe I'll continue, I don't know, and now here I am a year later still doing this. Still still kicking and I think it's going well so I'm proud of her so my battery is flashing so I guess I should end this now but I hope you guys enjoyed that thank you again for everything you guys have done for me over the past year whether it's just if you've watched a video or liked a video commented subscribed literally if you've interacted with my channel in any way thank you so much I really really appreciate it but yeah, I guess that's it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Bye!